Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are looking into a topic that affects millions of people worldwide. Asthma. As a doctor, I've seen firsthand the impact asthma can have on someone's life, but I've also witnessed the incredible progress they've made making and managing this condition. So stick around as we discuss this topic, the symptoms, the triggers, and most importantly, how to manage it effectively. Let's get started. First off, what exactly is asthma? Asthma is a chronic lung condition characterized by inflammation and narrowing of the airway. This inflammation leads to episodes of wheezing, breathlessness, chest tightness, and coughing, especially at night or in the early morning. These symptoms can range from mild to severe and can, be, and can vary from person to person. Now let's talk about the symptoms and triggers of asthma. The common symptoms actually include shortness of breath, coughing, wheezing, and a feeling of tightness in the chest. These symptoms can be triggered by various factors such as allergens like pollen, dust mites, pet slander, respiratory infection, cold air, in some people exercises, and even stress. So, how do we manage asthma effectively? Well, it's a combination of medication, lifestyle changes, and avoiding triggers. But let's break it down. Firstly, there are two main types of asthma medication. There's a quick relief medication and long-term control medications. Quick relief medications such as short-acting beta agonists provide rapid relief of symptoms during an asthmatic attack. Examples of beta agonists are salbutamol, salmeterol, and tebutalin. On the other hand, long-term medications like inhaled corticosteroids, leukotriene modifiers, they help reduce airway inflammation and prevent asthma symptoms from occurring in the first place. They are glucocorticoids such as ampoules as prednisolone, beclomethasone, and transcendolones. It is crucial to use these medications as prescribed by your doctor and to know how to use these inhalers correctly. Proper inhaler techniques ensures that the medication reaches your lungs where it is needed the most. Other medications include chromoglycates, which is a prophylactic agent or preventive agent as you may. They are mediator antagonists like Montelukast, Cetrazine, calcium channels blockers like Veraprimil, and nitric oxide. In addition to medication, lifestyle changes can play a significant role in managing asthma. Maintaining a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and omega-3 fatty acids can help reduce inflammation in the body. Regular exercise is also important, but it's essential to choose activities that are less likely to trigger asthma symptoms. Exercises such as swimming or walking will really help. Status asthmaticus. It is worthy and important to mention this. It is a medical emergency of an asthmatic episode that usually requires hospitalization. The treatment plan entails the following. One, place the patient on intranasal oxygen. Also, there should be an inhalation of salbutamol in oxygen gas. And then you introduce intravenous hydrocortisone followed by oral prednisolone. Patient should be placed under strict supervision. Lastly, Identifying and avoiding asthma triggers is key to managing the condition as this may, might involve using allergy-proof covers on pillows, mattresses, keeping indoor humidity levels low, and avoiding exposure to tobacco smoke and other environmental pollutants. In conclusion, asthma is a chronic lung condition that requires ongoing treatment and ongoing management. But with the right treatment plan, most people with asthma can lead active and fulfilling lives. If you or a loved one have asthma symptoms, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to managing your health. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you next time. 